on to our third category of plants, the gymnosperms. Gymnosperms are called the naked seed plants. They do produce seeds. So here's our first category of seed producing plants, uh, the gymnosperms. Gymnosperms are the naked seed plants. We'll see in a little bit, we'll see why they're called naked seed plants. Um, this is going to distinguish gymnosperms from one of the things that distinguishes them from the last category of plants, angiosperms, that we haven't talked about yet. Um, so gymnosperms, they do have seeds. And what is a seed? A seed is an embryo, a plant embryo, that's packaged with some food and it's all wrapped up in a protective covering. An embryo packaged with food and um, stored in a protective covering. Okay, so that's what a seed is, now you know. Okay, um, gymnosperms. Gymnosperms have very well-developed sporophytes, so kind of like the ferns. The sporophyte is the uh, larger, more developed plant form. So they have well-developed sporophytes. And the gametophyte, oops, the gametophyte plant actually lives inside of the sporophyte, which is kind of unusual. Gametophyte. Gametophyte's living inside. Okay, so with that being said, it's important to note that for the gymnosperms, the gametophytes are completely dependent on the sporophyte plant. Um, they, they cannot survive without them. So they're very intertwined. The gametophytes, gametophyte is totally dependent on and protected by, dependent on and protected by the sporophyte plant. Okay. Um, the gymnosperms, this is a huge category of plants. I think I already mentioned a lot of trees are in this category. Um, the gymnosperms are where we get most of our lumber and paper. So a lot of the trees that are used for those purposes um, are gymnosperms. These provide most of our lumber and paper, paper products. And um, let's see here, what are some characteristic things? Gymnosperms produce pollen, uh, which we're all familiar with in springtime especially. Pollen is actually a, it's a male gametophyte, so it is technically a plant all in itself. Pollen is the male gametophyte. Gymnosperms produce pollen, they have pollen, which is a male gametophyte. And they also have ovules. Whoops, let me spell that correctly. Ovules. Ovules contain the female gametophyte. Okay, and then that female gametophyte is the site at which um, seeds will develop. So once the pollen makes it over to, to the female gametophyte um, and fertilization takes place, then seeds can develop. Okay, so since we're talking about pollen, Pollen, um, 
pollen is is neat um, because this means that this plant is able to reproduce without relying on water. Pollen is lightweight enough that it can just be carried by the wind. Um, so pollination is possible through wind. Pollination via wind which means no water required. This means that these trees can live through times of drought, uh, they can live in dry conditions, it's okay if they don't always have access to water on the ground. Seeds are special uh, because they can uh, they can germinate right away or they can go into sort of a dormant stage if the conditions are not right. Um, seeds can remain dormant for even up to years in many cases. So seeds can remain dormant for years even before germinating. Okay, so those are some details laid out about the gymnosperms. Um, what do the gymnosperms include? So let's just get some familiar examples down. The gymnosperms include, include the conifers, so things that produce cones, like pine cones. Um, those are examples of gymnosperms. The conifers, let's just list out a few. So pines, uh, firs, spruces, junipers, uh, what else do we have? Oh yes, cedars, and the redwoods. Those are all examples of gymnosperms. Okay, so the, um, this name conifers, these are uh, the conifers, um, the cones, are the sites at which the gametophytes actually live. So think of think of a familiar pine cone. Right? They have all those little bracts that come off, and sometimes, if it's a fresh pine cone, sometimes you might see little um, seeds, like pine nuts, sitting in there, um, eat, uh, one on each bract. Um, so that's the site, that cone is kind of just the protective site that's housing uh, the gametophytes. Sorry about that. So let's draw a picture to go along with that. As far as uh, the alternation of generations goes, again, the sporophyte is the main plant, so we're gonna use blue for that. Um, main stalk and then branches coming off the sides. Okay, and then at some point, somewhere on this plant, uh, this is a sporophyte, which is diploid. To end, there might be leaves on here. Um, anyway, okay, somewhere on this plant there would be a gametophyte. Uh, so think pine cones. Um, somewhere there would be a cone. I'm just going to draw one in right here. And that cone is protected by the sporophyte body. So there's kind of like a, a casing that protects the gametophyte. In red here, this is the gametophyte, which is haploid. 